When asking this question, you are inquiring how often or how frequent someone does a particular thing. Here are some examples. How often do you exercise? How often do you change your password? How often do you help out at school? How often do you listen to your MP3 player? How often do you need to go to the dentist? How often do you receive your magazine in the mail? How often do you report to your supervisor? How often do you stretch before working out? How often do you talk to your parents? How often do you travel? <coughs> to want is to feel or have a desire for. When saying, do you want me to, you are asking someone if there is anything you can do for them or assist them with. Here are some examples. Do you want me to pick up the kids? Do you want me to fix your flat tire? Do you want me to help you read that book? Do you want me to remind you? Do you want me to remove my shoes? The word want can also be used to express something you would like someone else to do or that's something you personally would enjoy. Here are some examples. I want you to come over. I want you to make a decision. I want you to water the flowers. I want to understand what you are trying to say. I want to be better at swimming. I want to be more involved at church. This question asks someone their opinion about a topic. Here are some examples. What do you think about having a cup of tea with me? What do you think about working overtime next week? What do you think about waiting in line for tickets? What do you think about sailing? What do you think about staying here another night? What do you think about retiring from your job? What do you think about planting new trees in the backyard? What do you think about offering to babysit? What do you think about living in a new city? What do you think about filming our vacation? Don't is a contraction of do not. When using why, you are asking a question that involves yourself and the person you are talking to. Here are some examples. Why don't we go bowling tonight? Why don't we pick some fresh flowers? Why don't we play a game of chess? Why don't we save more money? Why don't we remember this place? Why don't we test this before using it? Why don't we try and do it again? Why don't we post our results online? Why don't we gather more firewood? Why don't we earn more money? Too bad means regrettable or unfortunate. When using it in a sentence, you are expressing a concern or regret for what has taken place. The topic being discussed could have happened to you, the person you are talking to, or someone or something else. Here are some examples. It's too bad that she lost her job. It's too bad that you have to go. It's too bad that I found out about it. It's too bad we will not be there on time. It's too bad that tickets are all gone to that concert. It's too bad that it is supposed to rain. It's too bad that she got hurt. It's too bad that my work has to lay off people. It's too bad that you do not understand. Using could have, you are speaking about something that was, should be, or would be. You are stating that they had other options that could have been chosen. Here are some examples. You could have completed it sooner. You could have blown your chance. You could have done better on your exam. You could have given me more time to get ready. You could have heard that from someone else. You could have sent that package first class. You could have slept in a little longer. You could have written him a letter. You could have thought of something to do. You could have upset her by saying that. 
Here, you are giving an example of what decision you would do given the circumstances. This could be in past tense or in a conditional present. Here are some examples. If I were you, I would enjoy my vacation. If I were you, I would explain what happened. If I were you, I would continue working until it is done. If I were you, I would book my reservations now. If I were you, I would answer the question. By adding have after the word would, you are talking about something in the past tense. Here are some examples. If I were you, I would have had enjoyed my vacation. If I were you, I would have had explained what happened. If I were you, I would have had continued working until it was done. If I were you, I would have booked my reservations now. If I were you, I would have answered the question. You are informing someone what something is going to be like. This could be something you are going to do, see, or feel. Here are some examples. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be easy. It's going to be depressing. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be disgusting. You can also add he or she or a person's name to describe how they might react to something. Here are some examples. He is going to be tough to deal with. He is going to be terrific at that. She is going to be relieved to hear that. She is going to be scared after watching that movie. Sally is going to be successful. Mike is going to be grumpy after I tell him. You could be describing how something is similar or appears to be by the way it looks. Here are some examples. It looks like a balloon. It looks like a jellyfish. It looks like a banana. It looks like a fish. You can also use it looks like to describe something that might be in the future. Here are some examples. It looks like it's going to rain. It looks like it's going to be fun. It looks like it's going to be a long day. You can also use it to describe something in the present tense. Here are some examples. It looks like they are leaving. It looks like he is waving to us. It looks like she is lost. It looks like they are racing. That's is short for that is. Here you are telling someone because of this or therefore. Here are some examples. That's why people admire you. That's why she appears so happy. That's why babies crawl before they can walk. That's why Pam cries at sad movies. That's why you fail to understand. That is why you help out people in need. That is why you try and include everyone. That is why you lock your doors when you leave home. That is why she smiles when you walk by. That is why you use it for emergencies. You are letting someone know that something is required to be done at the present time. Here are some examples. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to ask for a raise. It's time to collect our money. It's time to cheer for our team. It's time to change the clocks. It is time to decide what to do. It is time to enjoy ourselves. It is time to fill me in on what's going on. It is time to help out. It is time to join a gym. By stating the point is, you are stating in your opinion the meaning about what is actually happening. Here are some examples. The point is that if you study, you will do well in school. The point is that she does not understand. The point is that we need this done today. The point is that the world would be a better place. The point is that we should help. The point is that snakes can be dangerous. 
The point is that leaving a baby alone is not a good idea. The point is if we do not leave now, we will be late. The point is that she needs to be more responsible. The point is that we need to work together. By using the words how was, you are asking someone a question about something that happened or something they did in the past. Here are some examples. How was your meeting? How was your doctor's appointment? How was the birthday party? How was lunch? How was the airplane ride? How was vacation? How were your parents? How were roads when you drove home? How were people acting after what happened? How were holidays with the family? You are asking someone their opinion on something or if they would like to do something. Here are some examples. How about singing? How about hanging out tonight? How about folding the laundry for me? How about helping us out? How about describing to me what happened? How about exploring new ideas? How about comparing prices before we buy it? How about considering it? How about following me to their house? How about feeding the dogs? Here you are asking a question about in the event of or in the event that. Usually you are looking for an answer at the time of the question that is being asked. Here are some examples. What if I missed the bus? What if I were late to dinner? What if I called her tomorrow? What if I don't understand? What if someone sees me? What if no one is home? What if they decide to stay? What if it rains while we are camping? What if I do not finish on time? What if we introduce ourselves first? You are simply asking how much you would need to pay to do something. Here are some examples. How much does it cost to fly to Europe? How much does it cost to own a house? How much does it cost to play a round of golf? How much does it cost to join a gym? How much does it cost to repair my car? How much would it cost to talk long distance? How much would it cost to run a website? How much would it cost to wash my car? How much would it cost to rent a car? How much would it cost to go to the movies? When using how come, you are asking why a particular thing has or had to take place. Here are some examples. How come parents worry so much? How come people carpool to work? How come you are so upset? How come he will not call you? How come you stayed out so late? How come you cannot make a decision? How come you always question me? How come we never agree? How come your dog digs in the yard? How come she will not come over? By asking what are the chances of, you are wondering how often or in what case would a particular thing happen. Here are some examples. What are the chances of getting tickets? What are the chances of that happening? What are the chances of it raining today? What are the chances of winning the lottery? When replacing the word the with your or our, you can ask what the chances personally that the topic will happen. Here are some examples. What are the chances of you staying home today? What are your chances of getting the job? What are your chances of improving? What are your chances of moving? What are our chances of staying together? What are our chances of working together? What are our chances of going together? 
You are informing someone that there is something not right or out of the ordinary. Here are some examples. There is something wrong with my laptop. There is something wrong with my car. There is something wrong with my cell phone. There is something wrong with my head. There is something wrong with your answering machine. There is something wrong with your way of thinking. There is something wrong with your attitude. There is something wrong with your dog. There is something wrong with our relationship. There is something wrong with our alarm clock. The word let's is formed from the word let us. Here you are requesting that something not take place at this moment or that what is happening needs to be contained or lessened. Here are some examples. Let's not discuss this now. Let's not stay here too long. Let's not stop anywhere on the way. Let's not remain mad at each other. Let's not meddle in other people's business. Let us not get too excited. Let us not worry too much. Let us not interrupt them when they are talking. Let us help you. Let us get that for you. Let's is a contraction for let us. You are suggesting to someone that you should both agree on what you will communicate to someone else. Here are some examples. Let's say that you love to fish. Let's say we found it. Let's say that we enjoy being with them. Let's say that we had a good time. Let's say that it's hard to decide. Let's say that we have to go. Let's say that we can host. Let's say that I have to work. Let's say that the movie was really good. The word theirs is a contraction of the words there is or there has. When expressing no need, you are stating that the action does not need to take place. Here are some examples. There's no need to worry. There's no need to be upset. There's no need to act so strange. There's no need to act so shy. There's no need to rush off. There's no need to talk now. There is no need to call this late. There is no need to bother him. There is no need to run away. There is no need to stop now. You are letting someone know how long it will take to do a particular thing. Here are some examples. It takes one hour to get there. It takes 45 minutes for me to get ready. It takes four quarters to complete a football game. It takes seven seconds for my car to go 60 miles per hour. It takes all day for us to finish golfing. It takes years to learn to play guitar. It takes 15 minutes to get to downtown. It takes me one hour to cook. You are asking someone to make sure that a particular thing happens or takes place. Here are some examples. Please make sure that she wakes up on time. Please make sure that she gets to school. Please make sure that dinner is ready when we get home. Please make sure that your assignment is done. Please make sure that the water is not too hot. Please make sure you cook the meat long enough. Please make sure that she is getting along with her new friends. Please make sure that we leave on time. Please make sure you record our favorite TV show. Please make sure that you don't stay out too late. Here's to is used in a way of celebrating or identifying a person, place, or thing of significance. It is usually said while toasting someone at dinner 
or signaling to someone or something after an event. Here are some examples. Here's to the winner. Here's to your marriage. Here's to the new year. Here's to great friends. Here's to starting a new job. Here is to the luckiest guy in the world. Here is to you. Here is to happiness. Here is to a wonderful day. Here is to great memories. It's is a contraction for it is. By stating it's no use, you are saying that what you or someone else is doing is not recommended or uncalled for. Here are some examples. It's no use crying. It's no use separating them. It's no use talking to her. It's no use whining about it. It's no use apologizing. It's no use attempting to please him. It's no use arguing about it. It's no use behaving that way. It's no use cleaning up. It's no use checking on it yet. Theirs is a contraction of the words there is. By stating there's no way, you're relaying a thought of doubt about an event taking place now or in the future. Here are some examples. There's no way you finish on time. There's no way we complete on time. There's no way your mother approves. There's no way no one claims it. There's no way they expect it. There's no way he can fix it. There's no way he can handle the news. There's no way your brother injured his ankle. There is no way that horse jumps it. There is no way he missed it. When saying it is kind of you, you are saying that what someone has done or said was very appreciated or welcomed. Here are some examples. It's very kind of you to offer me the job. It's very kind of you to listen to me. It's very kind of you to join me. It's very kind of you to invite us. It's very kind of you to inform us what happened. It is kind of you to help us. It is kind of you to fill me in. It is kind of you to entertain us. It is kind of you to double my salary. It is kind of you to decorate for the party. Theirs is a contraction of the words there is. When using the word nothing, you are suggesting that something cannot happen or be done. Here are some examples. There's nothing you can harm. There's nothing the police can identify. There's nothing we can agree on. There's nothing we can join. There's nothing she can cook. There is nothing my dog can learn. By using the word cannot or can't, you can change the expression to mean that all is possible. Here are some examples. There is nothing I cannot ask for. There's nothing we cannot accomplish. There's nothing our dog cannot open. There's nothing that truck cannot move. Rumor has it is an expression used when suggesting you might have heard something or read about something that is taking place now or in the future. A rumor is not a fact. Here are some examples. Rumor has it that that player will get traded. Rumor has it that she cheated on him. Rumor has it that they are going to get married. Rumor has it that you like to paint. Rumor has it that show is going to end. Rumor has it that he is going to get a raise. Rumor has it that your sister got in trouble. Rumor has it that she goes to our gym. Rumor has it that he will not return. Rumor has it that it happened while texting.